Hello, hello, good morning. How are we? How are, how are, you, how are you? How are you, Mrs. B? Oh, yeah. Apologies for the craziness the other day. The other day, Two last minutes. night. Two drinks. Yeah, we had a, we had a wonderful yeah. evening. Yeah. I, I went, you know, started off, you stayed on the, on the beer and then went to Rose. I went beer, cider, two big glasses of red wine, awesome food in the uh, tapas place. Um, we're up early now, it's half eight, and we're, um, no, not really early, we're up. What time did you wake up? Like five, probably. Half five, because we went half to five. sleep really early. <laughs> yeah, we were in bed at like quarter past yeah. nine. I think it was. muscle in my back, and I just can't move. Oh. So, yeah, so we're on our way now. Oh. Oh, busy road. We're on our way now back into York. We're going to the Jorvik Museum, as long as the bus turns up. Uh, and all the other jazz. So I've only got 40% of the battery, so I'll keep the video see short. You can fit in. So you can fit in, and we'll see you. Probably can't take it into the um, York Minster, so no. I don't no. think you're allowed to video in there. No. So it might have to be pictures. <laughs> right, see you in a moment. Bye, see you in a moment. Show them the busy road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can hear it there. Bye. Bye. Hello, hello. So we've uh, we walk around York for a bit, it's having a wonder. It's uh, I don't know, it's after nine now, maybe quarter past nine. But we made it. If I flip you around, we made it to the Jorvik Centre, which we've already got the tickets pre-booked. So let's flip flip you around. There we go. This is the uh, the Jorvik Centre that we got tickets for. Uh, Twenty past ten, I think. So yeah, look, so look at that, looks awesome. So, yeah, so we'll be going in there later on. <laughs> nice. There we go. Wonder what, wonder what, um, uh, Rathna Lothbrook, no, what's his name? Ragna. Ragna, Rag I wonder what, let's flip it around again. I wonder what Ragna Lothbrook would have thought of this. Bjorn Ironside and all those guys. They laugh. They laugh. They go, you have a shunt at us. Okay, excuse the uh, fire. Mrs. B's getting distracted. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 We're going to get a coffee. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello again, no, yes. Right, so we've had a coffee. We had a meet train some shops and now we're just in the queue for the uh, for the Jorvik Museum. So are you a bit excited, Mrs. B? It looks good, it looks good. It looks awesome. So we're gonna, hopefully we can record when we're in there. What's the battery looking like? I can't see it because my eyes are no, old and grey. But um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll say hi when we get in there. Might need to record see some video on the phone. Video, quick, yeah. yeah. All right. See you in a moment. Bye bye, Mrs. B. Bye. There's Mrs. B. So this is actually the foundations of a um, 16, 16 Viking houses. Why? Oh, no, We're going on a ride. Oh my gosh. Dave doesn't like roller coasters. I don't like roller coasters, I'm going to get scared. Here we go, ready. We're on a ride now. Oh, 
Around the time of Perry Blood Eyes, the last Viking king in Norway was banished, Jorvik expanded dramatically, with new streets, new churches, and a brand new style of houses. It was a busy place, with people arriving from all over the Viking world to visit, trade, and settle. In this multicultural society, people have different appearances, languages, religions, and possessions. The remains of part of this thriving city were found right here, and, by carefully piecing together all of the archaeological evidence and what we know from other sources, you can now visit the Viking Age. How's it? You have arrived by the River Foss. Ahead lies the city with countless houses and workshops, many of them newly rebuilt. Some, like this damaged one, a victim of unintended half bath As ships became more seaworthy, the Vikings created wider trading lines, sometimes using chains of middlemen to carry goods from one side of the Viking world to the other. Silks and a cowrie shell found here suggest trade with Central Asia, the Eastern Mediterranean, and the Red Sea. Shall I, can, shall I pause it and save the battery and come back to it? Right, see you in a minute. genetic disorder that runs in families and seen particularly in middle-aged men. Tradition has it that it originated with the Vikings who spread it throughout Northern Europe and beyond as they travelled and to marry. This couple here will argue about what to have for supper, meat or fish. It would seem that life hasn't changed too much over the last thousand years. They're arguing in Old Norse, but if you listen carefully, you can hear Old English, Middle Welsh, and Old Irish all being spoken in the street. There's a food seller trying to sell this wealthy looking room a cabbage or something. It doesn't look like the type of thing that would turn to all or around. This woman looks like she's struggling to cross the road. We only found two complete skeletons in the excavations here, and this one is based on one of them. You can see that she's walking with a crook due to her hip problems and her hurt. You can find out more about her in the galleries to come. Cabbage? Cabbage. Here, we're in another of the new buildings. The first Vikings who came here were not Christians and worshipped their pagan Norse gods, but they seem to have adopted Christianity quite quickly. There is lots of evidence for there being a Viking era church just behind Copperhead, and there were many other new churches built in Norway at this time. Here's a prayer. 